on the way down screaming Hi guys, Techstuff here and today I want to show you the new Telegram update 3.16 and also sorry for uploading another video about Telegram because I already uploaded one yesterday but this update just came out and yeah I want to share it with you and show you the new things that changed and yes let's get started. Now what has changed as you can see the telegram links are shorter now for your own profile in the past it was telegram.me and then the username now it's t.me so it's obviously much shorter now chat features revoke and delete send messages and on private chats and normal groups because it was already possible to delete your messages in big public groups in the past but now it's also possible in your private chats and groups so I already showed this feature in the last telegram beta video so you can check that out if you want now the new markdown bold and italic on android which is also very nice and because now you don't need to use the bot and it's a little bit quicker and report spam on secret chat so if someone would that you don't know would send you a message in a secret chat you can report them if you want now recent files list when sharing a file which is also very nice it makes sharing files easier and quicker now here are some improvements in the chat UI so now the scroll position is fixed because now when switching to another chat and back that you now are in the same position and don't need to scroll up or down again and that's kinda nice and on Android you can now send GIFs directly via your keyboard I will demonstrate it to you now uh, I mean after we read all these notes and on your desktop you can now um, access some features such as starting a conversation and things like that so now let's show you these features in action so and of course there are also the new emojis as you can see this is from my last video and here are the new emojis that are now available to everyone and now let's show you the recent file feature as you can see this was there all the time and this is new so now you can send your recent files quicker very nice and what's also changed is that you now can send messages directly through Gboard or Google Keyboard which is it's how it's called and as you can see if you click on GIFs you can just search for something let's just say heavy and search for it and yeah now you got some GIFs that you can send very easily so let's just send this one here and also the file uploading speed has increased so or is now faster so you can upload files easier and quicker or just quicker I mean and yeah what's also new is the floating date so now you have a floating date up here as you can see now December 29 and if I don't do anything it disappears so I yeah little changes but yeah just want to mention them nonetheless and of course the remote revoke messages feature 
as I said in my previous video, I don't know what I think about that. As you can see on this picture, it's now also possible for Android users who have at least Android 7 to start a conversation with different contacts directly on the home screen without needing to open the app. But unfortunately I can't show you this feature in action because I only have Android 6.0. So sorry for that. Right now I'm editing this video and I realized that I forgot to show you something and that's the little feature that you now can see how much data you used in the settings for Wi-Fi, mobile data and roaming and as I already said you can see how much data you used which is a little but nice feature because now you can see how much data you used for example for mobile data which is nice because when you have a better overview on how much mobile data you have left for this month or how much storage voice messages take up and stuff like that so yeah a neat little feature so yeah guys that's it with this video i hope you enjoyed watching and if so maybe drop a like and consider subscribing if you're new so yeah i'm out see you next time bye